Welcome back, Action Pack. And today I got something special for you. We are doing a new series. I call this ICER, Y-C-I-R. That stands for your comment, our review. So what you do, is you go ahead, if you got a game suggestion, that's if you're an indie developer. Or if you're just a, you know, someone who watches the channel. I'll take those suggestions too. I'm with it. I'm with, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead, drop a comment. Let me know of a game you want me to check out. Go ahead, put it in here. That's what this series is for. Um, but our first submission for this series comes from a developer by the name of Infinite Studio. It has a game called Charlotte. It's the prologue. And they sent me a... Basically, they sent a comment. They put a comment on one of my videos, one of my older videos. So I decided to check it out. So let's get into it. Add your suggestion to the comment section. I'll get to it within some seconds. Andy Def, you know you better. Because the action back don't keep it rocking. So what I'm looking for, first of all, let's check out the backstory. Let's read this backstory real quick. May 11, 1992, the Daily Tribune, another town resident missing. Article by Lucy Joneal. Local man Travis Woods was reported missing yesterday by a neighbor who noticed newspapers piling up. So apparently brother went missing after reporting about crop circles and the crop circles happening after his wife's disappearance. So he went crazy. So if you can tell already, this is about uh, uh, this is an alien story we're dealing with here. Horror story. It's tough to it's tough to make aliens scary, in my opinion. But we're gonna get into it. And of course, in a, in a free indie game, what we're looking for is fun factor. Does it operate correctly? You know, not too many stutters. No, no sort of like. Uh, Okay. Uh. Uh. Uh, got our first submission from Infinite Studio. Here we go. Deep inside a story about an alien abduction. You know it had to be action gaming. Coming in with the story, trying to get the tagline, headline, passing on to the skyline. That means everybody within the city we don't show no pity you know it get gritty it get litty in the city baby show me your t okay this is a, this is a. okay sensitivity is a little high already but that beat go hard and there's no way to change that okay first things first i'm telling you right now you gotta you gotta add a gotta add a sensitivity even a music like there's no options for the music maybe it was on the main menu hold on, hold on, hold on. let me go check so let me just say you guys some time there wasn't any settings once i went back to the main menu and restarted the game but there was a surprise at the end of the game that caught me off guard you know of course that's what a surprise is as far as settings go it was very strange i'll make sure to add that back to the video Okay, report notes. Travis Woods investigation. On arrival, the place appears to be deserted. No sign of the subject. No cars or any other vehicles. The lights are off. I hope someone didn't get to him first. I'm going to take a look around, see if I can find some clues to his whereabouts. Okay. Hey, there's a van. Who are those spooks in the van? What are they doing here? I feel like they just picked somebody up. Okay, so I need a gate key. Use right mouse, front door key obtain. Huh. Now this game was pretty big. It was 3.4 gigabytes. 
battery. Oh, tab for him. There's an inventory system. There's a health system. Clues. So there. That means okay. On arrival, the place appears is that okay. Battery one. That's how I, okay, can I always, oh no, it went away, okay. Saving, okay. You got an auto-save system, that's good. Bro, for all the stuff you do have added, for there not to be a sensitivity setting, it's kind of crazy, I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, so here in this next part, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up. We find a flashlight, then we go searching and looting through the house. We find a list upstairs that tells us Basically, the things we need to do in order. I don't need that. Pro gamers over here. So we move on. Then we find out that there's a hiding mechanic. Don't need that either. Move on. So now we're downstairs. We're moving through the air vent. Right before things get a little spooky. Oh, that's another way outside. Interesting. Very interesting. Is that Flint? There it is. Oh my god. At least it's unlimited. Song number one. Okay, so there's two songs, I'm guessing. Maybe more. VHS tape. Flash drive. I like how stuff is just sitting around. Easy to collect. This dude really left it, like, in a rush. Appears to be half of them. Okay. Pizza and uh, microwave. Shopping list. Bread, beans, soda, pizza, newspaper, comments, shoes. Okay. Is that gin? This sensitivity, man. Hey, man. Huh? All right. So, it was a jump scare. I'll give you that. For me, scary movie four out of five. Yeah, we'll go with that. Now, in the next part here, basically what we got to do is we got to turn on the power so that we can watch the VHS tape. Because there is some very vital information that we need there. Okay. The United States Air Force, in discharging its responsibility for the aerospace defense of the nation, is called upon to investigate reports of unidentified flying objects. Two Air Force officers have over the years been very closely associated with this activity. Lieutenant Colonel Lawrence Packer, was formerly the chief spokesman for the Air Force on the matter, and Major Hector Quintanella is now the chief of Project Blue Book. Major Quintanella, what are the objectives of Project Blue Book? The objectives of the program are two things. Okay, so it's just talking about just talking about aliens and what what the uh, what the United States Air Force knows about it. Okay, so in this next part, after watching that vital information of Alien and the United States government, we go upstairs to the music room because we found the key, got in there, and remember we did find some music notes, don't know if you knew that, but we did find some music notes, decided to type that into the piano, and... Apparently, we do need a certain music sheet because this piano will give us a key that we need. We didn't have that sheet, nor did we have all the songs in our notes. So, we decided to take a little trip out to the barn. See what's going on out there. Maybe there's a music sheet out there. Let's find out. I don't know what to do with this. 
Okay, I didn't know that I could just come to the barn. Yeah, I gotta... Hey, bud. <laughs> he making bird noises? What the hell? All right. Jump scare. Scary movie four and a half. Yep. Now, after that jump scare, I did get a little curious about the boundaries of the world we were immersed within. So I decided to test those boundaries. Let's see how that went. Oh, what happened? What the hell? Dude, what the hell? Don't an achievement that's can I go out of bounds? Stay focused. Alright, so after that very immersive jump scare, which is a scary movie two out of five. Definitely. Definitely a scary movie two out of five. We move on trying to go out of bounds, you know, a few more times. Jumped on a a railing, crouched, couldn't move after that, almost got soft locked, got out of it, uh, decided to go upstairs, play with the piano, and then this happened. Ah. What the hell? Seiju was here. Who? Extra key. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I take damage from that? That's wild. That scared me. It's so loud. It's so loud. <laughs> all right so after this long period of just obnoxious music it's just very loud i can't gripe more about the loud music we finally use the crowbar to open the door to the attic which is where his main office is at also he has his own servers and he has a chemical station now also while we're up here we found the sheet music that we need for the key that comes from the piano so after looking at the laptop and also there's a safe that we need a code for and we need a password for the laptop as well so we have some we have some tasks to complete before we're even close to finish with this game. So after checking everything in the attic, in the office, we leave because we have to connect the satellite link so that way we can use the internet so we can upload the information that this man does have on the evidence of aliens because that was his purpose. His purpose was to show the world that aliens, in fact, exist. And he will stop at nothing until everyone agrees and he finds his wife. Now, before we get to all of that, this is where things get a little shaky. Where the hell is the gate key? Alright, Fat Lake panel is up. Alright. I guess I gotta do that now. I like that you got an unlimited sprint option. Oh, 
Oh no! That's a dodge. That nigga was coming up the steps, bro. It looks angry. I should keep myself hidden. How do you not know I'm in here, bro? Where could I be? You know I'm up here. It's a fucking alien. <laughs> like, bro. I don't know about this part, man. I get it, though. I get it. So in this moment, I have to put myself in the developer's shoes. How do I make this alien seem terrifying? And I think they did that to the best of their ability. Absolutely. Now what happens next is we have to slip past him, which was pretty easy. And then get kind of confused with what to do next. Not going to lie to you. But there's a little fun interaction we have that can only be captured in indie horror games take a look at this what now man you know what let's go get this jump scare hey bud hey hey come get me come here okay that's something you might want to go come here man oh so he's like he's trying to take the shortest route but because that's there it's like preventing him from i think he doesn't know that he can't uh that he can't walk up there hey man maybe this will help a little bit there you go Yes, absolutely. The best moment of this game was being captured. I'm telling you, man. That's grade A indie horror right there. A1. That's that's original, baby. You don't get those often. You don't you won't find that in a triple A game. The only place you can find that type of immersive scared out of your mind because you were captured by an alien it's through indie horror games absolutely that scare i think we all know where this is going scary movie three out of five let's go now after all that is said and done we have a hard time finding the code for the safe not gonna lie took me probably a good 30 to 45 minutes to figure out the cameras held the key to the code. Let's take a look at this moment of revelation. Hold on. Two, four. Bro, oh my God. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Two. No way. I need to send Travis's data first. Okay. That way. Find the find the satellite. The satellite found. Transferring the data. Make 
appreciate it. Wow, that was close. Ironically, I wouldn't have killed him just to use a longer fuse. All right. So now that the house is burning, we got the evidence out there to the world. It's time to find out what's buried in the crop circle. Oh, yes, there's a crop circle. That's part of the story. Because what's an alien story without a crop circle? Before we can head out there, we got to grab a shovel. So we can figure out what's buried. Time to find out what's buried here. It just okay. That's perfect timing for the rain, ain't it? They, this must be the crop circle. It's gotta be this one. <laughs> What is that? Is that an emerald? Oh, I'm surrounded. Why y'all all look the same? How come y'all don't got any variation? video game all along called Conspiracy? This is a sneak peek at the, ep at the episode 2 of it. Still in prototype story. Have fun in the Don't look directly at the book. <laughs> Make it play it up. Okay, okay. That's right. A game within a game. I'm telling you, man. It gets no better than indie horror games. This is a class act on what a good indie horror game can be. About aliens. It's tough. It's tough. That's a tough subject to, uh, to cover in indie horror. Not going to lie to you. So, after that, astounding ending to a storyline we get into the real game which is called charlotte it seems like some sort of open world sandbox type of game at least that's how it seems there's some sort of survival aspect with health food and water inventory system of course Guns and management. You have a cell phone, so that's kind of cool. And a really cute backpack. But the best part about this entire game, I mean the absolute best, it could get no better, is this moment right here. Now I can wait. Hold on. Now I can turn the sensitivity down. Yeah, nah, dog. Now I can turn the sound down. Okay, we're done. 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 But I appreciate y'all watching. Like I said, you got any game suggestions? Leave them down in the comment section. This is in action. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Make sure you drink plenty of water and also stay blessed.